this wonderful day has felt like Mercury, always slightly out of reach no matter how close it seemed. I have thought that I was ready to marry you for the past 10 years, <laughs> but only in these last few months have I experienced such an intense and so often painful longing to be your wife. As I write this, the thought of standing under a white altar telling my best friend and favorite person in the world how much I love him and all that I look forward to in our life together seems like plans that will never come true, a dream I am begging to be my reality. Yet here we are, and I'm still convinced it is too jubilant an occasion to occur on this earth. First, I do not apologize for the formality and length of this vow, for you are worthy of every mellifluous and honeyed word. Second, forgive me if my hands shake. <laughs> they are merely the tremors of unadulterated passion, registering clear to my corporeal skin and bones and nerves and pulse. You are the quintessence of every good thing in my life. In my eyes, you are a far greater beauty than a landscape of lilies, or a fearsome and turbulent ocean, or a sun crossing over the border of darkness. You incarnate kindness and familiarity as a rib plucked from my side while dreaming. It is terrifyingly vulnerable to need someone so greatly, but I've been so blessed to have such a steady partner by my side who knows me in all the ways you do. You feel like the most natural extension of self, an unfathomably wonderful best friend. You accept me, challenge me, and better me. You tear down the walls of my temple that's ill-built with insecurities and anxieties, only to calmly realign me with Christ. Even in moments of complete uncertainty, when my hope is faltering, you speak to me, gently remind me of God's sovereignty, and then you somehow always make me laugh. I want to make each other laugh for the rest of our lives. When I think of gentleness, you immediately come to mind. The manner in which you treat me, even as you teach me to sneeze properly, <laughs> or as you hold me before we say goodbye, exemplifies such gentleness. How grateful I am to be done saying goodbye. With daily regularity, I will know your restless nights, your flexible toes, and your improved sneezes. I will do my best to provide, as I know you will too, but I will, with even greater concerted effort, seek to lavish all love upon you. In addition, I will jump out of closets to terrify you, out of a profound love. I want to cook dinners with you or just spend the whole time making hummus while you cook the rest of the meal. <laughs> May spontaneous car rides, solved crosswords, and intimate dinners with dusty Dylan vinyls on the player abound. And tiffs and slights over tardiness and uncleaned rooms be met with clemency and an overflow of grace. I want to have quiet mornings and second dinners and frustrate you with all the sweets that I bake. I can't comprehend the impending sweetness of coming home to you every day and never going a day without seeing your smile or hearing your voice. I never want to stop spending time with you. I am blessed beyond calculation to only know the very beginning of you and have a lifetime afforded to me to know you completely. I am so grateful to live my life with you. I have never been as confident in anything as I am in marrying you. Let all people here and everywhere recognize and respect this holy union now and forever. Finally, in front of everyone, you may, without reservations and forever, kiss your bride. It is my great honor to announce to you for the first time, David and Hadassah Moore. Woo!